Hi, this is Adele, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you think your painting might be, or you strive for perfection. Uh, so many artists strive for perfection. Is it perfect? Are people going to like it? Um, you put so much effort and so much importance on every single painting. So I'm trying to tell you to change a mindset from, oh, this is, has to be perfect to, oh, this one has a unique personality. And each one you make will have a totally unique personality. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I put several different possibilities that the painting can go in a million different directions with just three different things I'm just going to hold up and put here and explain to you. So keep on watching. I think you're going to enjoy it. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my early Saturday morning videos. And hit the like button and please share this with any of your friends or family or anyone you think might enjoy it. Thanks for joining and let's get started. So I want to just show you that just take, for example, this painting behind me. This painting could go off in a million different directions. And so I'm just going to show you maybe two different directions that it could take. Just by holding up, I work a lot in collage. So just by holding up different, I have a whole plate, let me show you, a whole bunch of collage pieces, black and white pieces, <clears throat> and all kinds of pieces. So I just have them all laid out here and I'm looking at what strikes my fancy. So let's see, with this painting, I'm going to, how about, it's got blue, but I'm gonna put this orange in it. So how about if I, I'm gonna take, I use, I use these, um, this tape and just put, put different things in different areas to see if I like them and move them around. So say for instance, I want your eye to come up around here and I don't want it to be too stark and too different. If I put it here, it's going to jump out at you. If I put it here, it's going to be um, a little bit more subtle. And if I put it here, which I'm going to put, watch this, this blue kind of blends with this blue, but this orange over here on this side makes it pop. So let's take something else, for example. So we've got blue and orange. <clears throat> let's see, how about some, uh, oh, how about a bold black color? <clears throat> so I'm gonna take another one of these and I'm gonna put it here. And so let's see, if I, I hold it up to see if I like it and I really pay attention to where my eye is going. It's going here, if I put it here, it's so different, the contrast is huge and so between the background, so it's going to jump out at you. And how is it balanced between these three pieces? You know, here's one, they're too evenly spaced. So I'm going to move it around to bring your eye maybe over here. Your eye, it looks like to me, I'm going to put it here. And again, each decision, you can turn it this way or turn it this way. I personally like it this way. I like the energy of the vertical stripe there. So let's see, let's put one more on this one just to show you. All right, get my tape, get another one of these. This time I'm gonna use, uh, oh, I have a lot of these uh, papers. This is a gorgeous blue. Um, do I want, I just take them and hold them up. Do I want this? No, that doesn't zing me. Uh, I want things to zing me. Black, oh no, that's too heavy. So you pick them up and just try things. Oh, I love this purple. This is a subtle color, see? So I don't want it too big. If I put it here, look what happens. It just jumps out at you. If I put it here, oh, I like putting it here. See, more than over here. This way my eye is up here and it stays up there. If I put it here, let's do that. <clears throat> and should I put it here? Should I put it here? Do I put it there? I'm gonna put it here. So just take a look at, I put just these three pieces and you really have to think about where you put them, where the eye goes, so let's say I'm gonna do something, so that's one way I could go with this painting. Let's take, actually, I'm gonna use the same pieces and put them in different areas or different ways, and so you'll see how you can get totally different paintings or looks. So this one, let's go back to this one. Do we want it stark? I kinda of like this. Do we want it like this or this? And for me, I'm gonna put it this way because it balances off the black circle there. Or do we want it this way? you know, off the side? Do we want it balanced in the middle? Do you want it high? Do you want it this way? So you try them a lot of different ways. I don't like to center things too much. 
So I'm going to put it just off center, and I'm going to put it this way. So this way, this time it's going to kind of, the arrow is going to face this way. So let's look at where this might go. Okay. To me, that's a little too bright. And again, to me, I think of, is it too contrasting? Or is it going to jump out of you? And if it does, do I want to do that? So I'm going to say, I want my eye to come up here, but this time I'm going to put it up here. I love that. See, so my eye moves here and here. So let's do this one other piece. Um, this time, I think what I'm going to do is cut it shorter and have a smaller. And do I want it up here? Nope. Do I want it... Still want it here, and it's kind of subtle, right against the black there. So your eye doesn't it doesn't just jump out, but it gives kind of a subconscious, ooh, kind of a um, contrast thing there. So see, just with these two different ways of putting these, your painting can go in a million different directions. So please be patient with yourself. Don't think that each painting has to be perfect. Think of each one having a totally different personality. And that way, you're going to have lots of different personalities. So I hope this helped. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.